A very good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and thank you so very much for joining the Life of Signatures Radio, a daily show where we talk about purpose, productivity, and resilience. We have been doing this for quite a while now, talking about the subject of despair. And uh, in the past uh, several episodes, we talked about uh, what despair looks like. And uh, now we are talking about the things that despair lives in its wake in your life. When despair runs its course, what are you set to lose? And believe me, there are mighty things, major things that you and I are set to lose. And when we look at these things, it just gives us an impetus to find a way to find a respite whenever despair comes into our lives. And make no mistake about this. No one is exempt from this. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. At the time of recording this, there is a massive buzz going around in Africa, Kenya, Uganda, especially in the startup world. And uh, it's about this guy called Njonjo, uh, Peter Njonjo, actually, the founder and CEO of a massive startup that raised quite a bit of money called Twiga Foods. Some time back, he took a break and uh, then... uh, that break became a permanent exit in 2024. In 2023, they cut 33% of their staff. And then uh, somewhere around October, they were in court. You know, a Google, could, a, a Google Cloud reseller sued them over and paid dues worth, guess what, 450,000 US dollars. Oh. So it's, you, you read, you read despair all through. So Charles, I mean, Peter and Jonjo quit and so on and so forth. And you can see that even as the ship has been, the boat has been rocked, despair cannot fail to be somewhere in the vicinity of what they are doing. It is, it is massive. And we sympathize with them. And that's why we've been talking about the thing behind the thing is the thing. In other words, don't look at despair at face value. What despair lives in its wake is the real deal that needs to be protected. And yesterday in the episode, we said that the very first thing that despair comes after is your dream is your desire, your vision, especially things. It doesn't matter whether those things have been materialized, have been actualized. In other words, if the dream is already in plan or in play or not, despair doesn't matter, doesn't care. Sorry, it doesn't care about those. It comes after the dream. Whether the dream is alive or not, it comes after it. By the time despair is through, if it's led to run its course, there is no dream. There is no vision. There is no opportunity to do the things you are born to do. 
because of despair. And at this point in time, you find people in the startup world, in the business world, whatever it is, you find that they take their lives or they just withdraw from life. They just become a pale shadow of themselves because despair has worked on them. It's an insidious animal. Today, let us look at the second thing that despair is after. Oh, it's not necessarily in order, by the way. But the second thing that despair comes to disrupt is your momentum. Let me tell you something. There is nothing as powerful in our day-to-day -day lives as momentum. Momentum directed at anything that matters to us. Directed at anything that is of important value to us. Anything that is of productivity to us. Momentum directed at the kind of life that we want to live. If that momentum is disrupted, see, let me take the example of spirituality and even physical fitness. Let me just take them one by one. In spirituality, we know that devotion and consecration are important. And so you get momentum in that particular direction. Some of you, you might dedicate yourself to fasting and prayer. And you say, I'm going to be praying every now and then and so on and so forth. That way you create momentum. And along the way, if I wanted to kill that momentum, one of the things I can do is to introduce despair. Probably despair comes from the angle of the things I'm doing, I am not seeing any result and so become, dis I mean, despondent. And despair comes in. And we enter into a slump. What has happened? Momentum has been stopped. And if I wanted to kill someone, if I wanted to disrupt any progressive entity in life, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kill their momentum. That's why when you go for debates, there are these uh, lousy debaters who don't have facts, they don't have value, they don't have compactness of thought. You know what they're going to do? Every time you open your mouth, you want to say something, they interrupt you. Their key or their weapon is to stop your momentum. Once they've killed your momentum, you have no argument. And people at the end of the day, those ones who are watching the debate, they will say the other guy who was interrupting is the one who won the debate. Because you are not given momentum, you are not allowed to flow. Life is about flow. When there is no flow in life, there is less productivity, there is no inspiration, there is no flow, there is no life, basically, at the end of the day. So despair comes to remove momentum. So I want you to check what is it today that is giving you momentum or in what area do you have momentum? In physical fitness, you start a, a physical fitness regimen. There's a lady I want to tag uh, on this show today. We've interviewed her. She's called Rita Sion. Every time you go on Facebook or on social media or on Instagram, she's always posting something about physical fitness. She's built momentum over a long period of time. And let me tell you something, if you wanted to take Rita Sion out, and I'm not giving you any ideas, you've got to find a way of breaking her momentum. Just break her momentum and that's just about it. So momentum is one of those things that despair comes after. Once despair has dealt with you, your momentum is gone. So I want you to look at your life right now and find out where, in what area in your life are you having momentum? Are you having momentum in your career? Are you having momentum in your marriage? Are you having momentum in your spirituality? Are you having momentum in your business? And find a way to protect this momentum at all costs. Whether there is despair or not. I know there's a point in time that you're supposed to draw back and maybe rest and recuperate and go on vacation and so on. But that is not the, 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 the momentum disruption I'm talking about. That is actually empowering momentum. When you rest, when you recuperate, when you re-strategize, when you draw back, when you retreat, it is not the closing 
of momentum. It is not the disruption of momentum. It is actually empowering momentum. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about stopping all of a sudden doing the things you're supposed to do because you are not interested in them. You are overwhelmed. You have no passion anymore. You have no inspiration in it anymore. That's why momentum is going down and that is caused by despair. Perhaps one of the things that is a powerful driver of personal success and revolution is this thing called momentum. Momentum creates fun. It creates feelings of accomplishment. It creates confidence in the direction of life that you're taking. And speed, by the way. Speed, in fact, speed of hope in delivering the object of your desires. If you wanted to accomplish anything in life and it's a desire, it's a goal, you know what your friend is? Big Mo. Momentum. There comes despair. And just like that, he who was flying comes tumbling down. He was on song. He's no longer on song anymore. He was inspired. He's no longer inspired anymore because despair has come in. And I've said on these episodes over and over again, many times that the greatest fight for our lives, it is the fight for momentum, the fight for consistency. In fact, it is to be daily inspired above the level of life. Let this be our biggest fight. Let it continue being the things that we put on the table every single day. This is unstoppable. This is untouchable. This is non-negotiable. We need to find out what those things are. Let life rob you of many things as it wants. But let life not rob you of momentum. Because if everything is taken... I remember I saw uh, a story, a short story, inspirational story somewhere in the fires of Chicago, I think in the 1870s, whatever it is, there was a guy whose store had been raised up and it's, it's just gone. I mean, to the ground. His shop was just burned to the ground. The following morning, guess what? The guy was seen with a placard. Said, store gone, family intact, business continues as usual. Something of that nature. That's momentum that's fighting for momentum that's not giving in to despair that's the bounce that's resilience that's mental toughness that's what we need listen we gain nothing in feeding despair every time it visits our life we gain nothing in seeking sympathy i know there's a place for that we gain nothing in seeking sympathy and playing it over and over again there's some people seven years down the line Since despair entered your life one or another, seven years down the line, you're still rehashing it. You're still playing it over and over again. You're killing your momentum. I mean, move on already. Suck it up and move on. Uh, Sorry for being tough. Suck it up and move on. You are the one losing. You want sympathy all these years. Oh, he cheated on me, he cheated on me. Seven years, ten years down the line. You're not helping yourself. Move on. You need momentum in your life. Fight for that momentum. Let life take everything. But let not momentum be taken away from you. Next time you find yourself in despair, one of the greatest assets that you need to protect, like the apple of your eye, with all that you've got, with all your might, is your momentum. Because without momentum, despair feeds itself to unimaginable heights. And without momentum, dreams, they start fading. Without momentum, life starts becoming arduous and, it, oh, I mean, it's just like baseless. Uh, I don't, what, what can, there's no life. There's no oomph in life without momentum. It's a burden. So let us protect our momentum as our life depended on it. Because guess what? It actually does. Tomorrow, let's continue talking about this subject. But until then, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.